Good morning, art buddies, and welcome to Brie Collage with Pink Girly. I just looked at my camera, and it's all Caddy Wonkers. Let's straighten that out a little bit. Good morning, good morning. I'm very excited to share with you. Our new family member has arrived. Holden arrived yesterday evening about 8.29 weighing in at seven pounds we don't i haven't gotten a measurement as as far as how long he is i don't know maybe they don't do that anymore but he's beautiful everybody seems to be doing well so we're very excited so we're very very excited and so that's my big news for today and um Gosh, I don't know how long my they'll keep my niece in. I don't, probably not too long, right? I don't know. It's been it's been six years since we went through this, personally. But yeah, so we're all excited. She did really well. He um, is eating as long as he can stay awake. He's very tired. He's very tired, little boy. He um, I'm not going to show his picture because I didn't ask her if I could do that, and you know. I know my my daughter and son-in-law don't like their kids on the internet. So, thanks, Kellyanne. So, we've got Peggy in the front row seat. Kellyanne's right next to her. And there's Gail. Good morning. So, I think I had put uh, on my community tab and then on Facebook as well that I was going to try these markers. I'm pretty sure these are the ones that Murray from the Murray Otoye channel used. Murray's got a set of 12. I was thinking they were thinner, but see, they're quite, they're quite chubby. But these were marked down, you know, Amazon, they, um, good morning, Angie. They mark stuff a certain percent off from time to time. And I noticed that these uh, were marked down from 15 to to I guess it was $15.99 to $9.99. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try them. Now it says paint effect no bleed. They're supposed to pop on light and dark surfaces. I chose the bullet tip because I'm not good with a brush tip, but they do come in a brush tip. Now, they are also um, water-based acrylic markers. So, it's acrylic paint, if I have that correct. No prepping or priming needed. Color layers without blending colors layer without blending boldly marks on paper metal wood ceramic glass rock and canvas so i just thought i'd try them and see so we're going to start out with that and then we'll move on to making some ephemera ephemera so as you can see i waited to open this now it doesn't I don't see any instructions, but it says no prep, so no prepping or priming needed, so I don't know. Let's have a look-see. Now, I got out a piece of fabric. I put in a, um, a little embroidery hoop. I'm trying to pull it tight. This is really a tight fit. This is the top of a curtain or something. I do like the fabric. I, I've used this on a couple of projects. <clears throat> but I'm going to see what it's like if we paint on these. Now, I will say, right off the start, um, these are all like the primary colors. I would, wouldn't, wouldn't mind if they had included a black or a white. But we'll, we'll see. Now, I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure. I was just going to say I'm sure the black and white are in the 12-piece set. But I'm really not sure. I do know. I didn't pay that close attention. Um, but I'm always looking for a white paint pen that works well. The Posco paint, white paint pen does not work well for me. I hope you have plenty of time because apparently it's going to take me like a half hour to get this freaking thing open. So good morning to all of you. I hope you're all doing well. 
Yeah, see how chubby chubby they are. Gail said, I've never seen any type of white Sharpie. Yeah, well, maybe they don't make it, Gail. I don't know. All right, let's see what this says. This is nothing. This is just going to be a fabulous little tuck-in for a journal. All right, let me get rid of the garbage. So I was looking for a journal to test these in, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just get it one of my little journals, and I'll put a stencil on it and color in a couple of blocks and see how that looks. And did you ever have a hard time just trying to decide what journal you were going to mark on or what you were going to, you know, it's like, it's like a traumatic decision for me. So I'm looking up here with my, my mess of stuff and I spy the edge of this journal. I'm thinking, what the heck is that? I don't even remember that journal. Okay. So here it is. Now I covered with this with canvas, not canvas, denim. Oh my gosh. It's going to be one of those days. But look, I thought it might be cool to write on one of these, on that, on the cover. Then I've got this I can color in. I pulled out a piece of black card stock. Okay, I'm not shaking it. I'm not doing anything. Oh, my word. Hello! Now, I will say... It kind of fades out there, but see, I think that's probably me. I think I probably, on the upswing, pressed a little hard. So let me just try to use a even stroke. Yeah, I think I still am doing it. So that's the yeller. Now, I didn't shake it or anything, guys, you know. No pressing down, holding it, popping, pop, 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 none of that. Now, there's the blue. I don't know that I would say that pops, but let's give it a minute to dry. Let's try the yellow on the white. Now, these aren't really necessarily colors I would use all the time, but I do have two grandchildren I see occasionally. There's your purple. And I'm thinking they might like these. Red. The red to me is not a true red. It's more of an orange red. Good morning, Kimberly. How you be, Kimberly? Missed you the other week. I guess Thursday. Maybe you don't come on Thursday. But I missed your little face. The tip almost looks spongy, but it's not. It's hard. It's it's uh, it's a bullet. Oh, it makes nice dots, huh? So there it is on black card stock and an index card. Does it say the markers are permanent? Let's just see. No bleed for best results, store horizontally. Uh, where did I put that other? Oh, I emptied my trash. And this went all the way down to the bottom. It says water-based acrylic markers. It does. I do not see the word permanent anywhere. Let's see what happens if we squirt it with water. Bullet point, creative markers. I don't see permanent. Well, 
What's Kimberly saying? I'm missing it. Store horizontally. Uh... Oh, good. You got to visit with mom. How lovely. That's nice, Kimberly. I'm glad it was a good thing. Uh, you weren't a sickie. Um, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to spend, you know, forever trying to decide what color I might do this butterfly. That's nice. No bleed. Huh? Now that's a per it's a pretty big tip. But it doesn't make too big of a line. If they had this in white, I'd be all over it, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. Let's color this body. And now of course you're gonna get more colors in the 12 pack i didn't look that up i probably should have but i didn't mary was saying she wished that it included a brown it does not now you're supposed to be able to go over top of these colors without them um bleeding not no it didn't say bleeding it said it would cover without blending is what it said so let's just say Let's put a little purple here, a little purple here, a little purple peepalita. They don't feel uncomfortably thick. I mean, they are, I would say, a jumbo marker, but it's not uncomfortable having that in my hand. Now, of course, this is not dry yet. But I'm mashing right up against that purple. Should give that a minute to dry. I was just going to say I wish there was orange, but there probably is in the bigger in the 12 piece pack. And I don't know if it comes in a bigger size with other colors. I didn't do a lot of research. It's covering the fabric fairly nicely. Now this is double double layered, so you can't I can't really see if it's um let's see if it bleeds through down here. See that can you see this is like folded over and stitched? So I don't know if you can see. Um it's stitched, it's double. But down here I got a little bit that's not. Let's see what kind of what kind of bleed through we got? Not too much. See, I've got a glare on my screen, so I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah, you got a glare too when I hold that a certain way. You can just faintly see a little bit coming through the fabric, but not a lot. Now that come off on my face, so that's not quite dry yet. All right, so let me dry this a little bit with the old heat tool. Good morning, Sam. Now you'll see in the fabric, the yellow covered really well. Uh, the purple, it's starting to drink up a little bit, the fabric, and I'm seeing a little bit of white uh, coming through. But I'm thinking if I do a second coat, it's going to take care of that. Now let's put some dots here.
so that's going on okay. I don't see any blending, no bleeding. But there again, I don't know the Postica paints pens bleed either. Kind of staying where I put it. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, the question is, do I feel like doing something on here? Well, this is red. Let's see if it, how it does on the dedum. Not too bad on the denim. Now, if I remember correctly, this is just uh, acrylic paint that I did through a stencil. Now I can see that that's drinking that in pretty well. Now I was going to grab a stencil. I don't think I have too much in this journal. I don't know that I want to mess around with. Um, I don't know how, this looks like a sketch journal that I was thinking I would draw in here. So I don't think I'm going to put these bold marking pens in here. See, I just have issues. I have issues, my friends. I have issues, my friends. No, I don't think they're bleeding at all, Peggy. Uh-uh. No, I don't see it. Okay, so here's... Here's some yucky stuff. Okay. Like it didn't bleed on here on the on this here butterfly. And I'm going up over that purple. Now of course the, the red is darker, but I wouldn't say it's bleeding or re or blending. It's just kind of covering it. I love that you don't have to shake it and push it down, you know, and go mm, 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 like that. I'm going to check out the other colors. Because in most of what I do, I don't use these bright colors. Hello, hello. I'll tell you what, these would come in handy, I think, for teachers. They're very smooth. They write very smoothly. I would definitely buy a set of these for my grands. They might get some for Christmas. If I remember. If I remember. So that's it. This is the set of five. And uh, I'll go ahead and pop my link in again for my Amazon account if anybody's interested. But I think um, for what they say they are now, they're not permanent. Oh, yeah, I want to squirt it with water. Wait a minute. Let me get that back up there. Let's squirt some water and see. Hey, Lucia. Hi. Nice to see you. Let's give this a squirt. Let's give it a little skewer test. This is just water. And let's grab this is just a dry paintbrush with black card card stock.
I mean, I'm really pushing and working it. So, hey, Sherry, good morning. So not, it's not moving really too much. Let's do a, let's do a block of color. Now, I mean, it dries, it's going to dry quicker on paper, but I did the heart right on top of that green block and it's not bleeding or smearing, but I want to dry that really well. That's a pretty good spritz of water. Not really moving, guys. So, I don't know. There you have it. There you have it. Sharpie Creative Markers. Water-based acrylic markers no prepping or priming ba, 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 ba. okay now let me show you this this is what i we did thursday i had purchased these um not all that's not that's one i cut um these 140 pounds watercolor uh, paper cut like postcards. I've been looking all over for my little postcard stamp. I found it. I've picked it up about mm, 15 times. Went to move it this morning so I could try and stamp here. It, it went somewhere. It bounced or blinked somewhere. I cannot find it. So again, it's missing. So we messed around with this during the stream. Some of these I went over and tried to rework. This I added um, the bottom color and the top color. And then I kind of did some sketching with my Sharpie pen, not my Sharpie marker. This one was horrible. And you can see a shadow of a flower back here. But I just put water on it and blended everything together and then just tried to make some kind of a little scene. I mean, I wouldn't dare send that to anybody, but at least, at least I don't have to pitch it. This was one I cut myself, four by six, rounded the edges. This is hot press paper. My grandchildren are very well trained. No, I didn't see the menu today. Sorry, Ange. I was engrossed in the Sharpies. My grandchildren only know that they can only um, color in their books or on paper. So that one I thought turned out cute. I did go ahead and put the Tim Holtz crayon around the edge. But you can, if you look real close, you can see I didn't get it all blended in. So... This one, I put the crayon on my, um, like my mixing, my mixing tray of my watercolors. This was a stamp, of course, and um, then I went back over with a Sharpie pen because I didn't get a good stamp and recolored, you colored in the bees. So a couple of other ideas. A couple. I got a couple more ideas. I'm going to still play with those. So that's where I landed on those. So I feel a little better about those than I did initially. The product is good. I just didn't like my um, what I do with them. Actually, quite honest. Quite honestly. And then I did have some samples of. What I've done with these um, slide projector films or photos. I mean, is there a 
frames, slide projector frames, maybe. These were uh, my family's frames. My dad was big with the slide projector. And uh, my mom was ready to toss these. And I said, no, 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 no. So I grabbed them. I have a ton of them. So, of course, I some of these my neighbor often would say to me, you got a job for me I could do something I could keep busy with my hands that I could do. So I had her poke out a lot of um, the film for me. So some of these are prepped and you'll see some of them are not. And I'm just sitting here trying to think what what journal do I have some finished ones in? But of course it's not coming to me. So we're going to do a couple of different things. I'm just going to mess around and play. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little plastic notebook divider. I've got to get my glass. <laughs> I have the glass mat, the Tim Holtz glass mat. And I keep forgetting I have it. Jacqueline said to me the other day, what do you have if you could do it on your glass mat? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I put it under my desk and I forgot. And the reason I put it under my desk is with filming and my lighting, I get from my, oh, I didn't turn my ring. I don't know if my ring light will help this look any better. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, I can, oh you got to turn it on, Laura. Well, it gives me more light. I don't know if it's any better for you guys. <clears throat> but anywho, so I'm going to work primarily, I think, on top of this. Now, there's tons of stuff that you can do with these, I'm sure. And I'm sure others have done it. Um, but I do like messing around with them. So I thought I would mess around with some small bits today. If any of you um, are into the Tim Holtz stuff, well, this isn't Tim Holtz stuff. What's in here? A lot of times you'll buy the um, little packages that have, it gives you tons and tons of cutouts. So here we go. Ribs, salmon patties. So yeah, you lost me with the salmon patties. Mashed potatoes, potato salad. <gasps> I could go for a potato salad. Slaw, okra, and mac and cheese. Gosh, how many people are you feeding? when you do this inch or I guess it's your mom maybe that cooks maybe you do the cooking anyway I all pull, pulled out some reinforcement circles that I think I might like to incorporate and I have some of the uh, little stick on labels that you can purchase some little words this I have this this is just trash I think I saved for a journal I have some of these little um they're not paper but they're not silk either some of these really pretty little flowers that come on a real thin wire so pull those out and then I think in here I've got a bunch of little stuff well, maybe we'll use some of that I tried to divide some of my little tiny Timmy stuff that you get. And some of, some of this is really little. So I'm going to see if we can incorporate some of that. So I just pulled out a bunch of stuff. There's some other little stuff in here we might dig through and see what we can use once we get going. Now, you don't have to do a lot to them. You know, you do whatever, you, you know, if you have a particular page or project that you think you um, are wanting to work with, certainly you would fashion your ideas around that. Um, I do kind of like that you can see the color slide film. Sometimes I use that side, sometimes I don't. Now, some of the ones that my dad had, had a year marked on them. I don't see a year on any of these, but they're kind of cool too. So let's start very simply by just taking one. There are nine of you and both you and mom cook. Well, that is a lot of mouths to feed for sure. All right, so I'm going to just pull out my Distress Ink, my favorite there, Vintage Photo. Just 
to start. And I'm going to just take a couple and ink my edges. Now, I know some people don't like this grungy, dirty inked look, but, you know, if you don't like it, then don't do it. That's so that's okay. That's okay. And uh, let's do one where the, the film strip side, the words are up. Let's do two like this. Now, while I have my ink out, I want to treat some of those reinforcement circles as well. Killing two birds with one stone. All right. So what I like to do is, now I got these like at Goodwill or something. Not yet, like I know you can buy these, okay? Um, okay, my sister-in-law just asked my husband if he wanted a box of slides. He said, no way do I get the feeling I'm going to regret. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I like to ink these as well. And I don't think these are especially um, expensive, but I haven't priced these in a long time. And um, I, I think some of them nowadays are a different um, um, material. They're not like, they're not really papery, but they're not, um, I've seen some that are like kind of shiny. I wouldn't want those because I think the ink probably. Um, would just swipe off. Hey, Mitz, good morning. Um, yeah, I always tell people, ask me before you throw anything away. All right. So then I'm also going to, for this, I want to stamp on these. I want to stamp some... Um, Good morning, Andrea. Nice to see you. Um, some script kind of lettering on these. Now, the thing is, can I find something that's not real big? See, I have this one. This is my French script from Stampin' Up. But this, I think, really needs to be cleaned. When I used that last, it didn't stamp very nicely. And these are, oh, this might do. And these are smaller. So I have this little script stamp that I'm going to try using this one. And then I'm going to grab some Stampin' Up. No, I'm lying to you. Stays on. Starts with an S. So I said Stampin' Up instead of stays on. Now I want to get a piece of... Paper that I can just do a test stamp on to make sure I get a good image. See how juicy this is. I hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. Good morning, good morning to everyone. Nice to see your little bright, shiny faces. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. All right, we'll be doing it. Now this, I'm not too worried about it being real dark. So I'm going to use the second stamp on these. And you could stamp anything on there. You have a little flower or bumblebee or, you know, anything like that. You just, you use what you like. That's kind of heavy duty. Heavy duty. Let's get, uh, let's see, let's go off to the side there. And let's go up here, see what we got left. Do that a little different. And let's use up the rest here. I want to make sure I get something on all of these. I should probably get out a little bug or something else. Just to show you, let's see, what do I have that's little? I don't know that I've ever really done anything on the circles other than um, uh, 
than text. But let's give it a go. Let's see. That's also a bug. That might look cool. Let's put these on. Oh, they're cute little flowers. They can go all different directions, too. We'll do some different. All right, now we'll set those aside for when I want to use them. All right, so now you may have a journal page where you want to put this on something on top of your journal. Not necessarily fill in that hole to make it, um, you know, let's see if I can find anything in here. This is my, what I call my porch journal. See, like, okay, so I was coloring these bubbles here. So say that's on a journal page or even on my cover, you know, you could glue that down and that can be your focal point. You also can glue three sides and use it and slip things in and out. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be. So you can really glue it on top of almost anything. Just depends on how thick you might want your page. Like say, okay, so I have this card. Just say I wanted to accentuate her little face. I could make the frame match the card somehow, you know, work it and then just glue it on. Good morning, Candy. Nice to see you. So you see what I'm saying, right, guys? Uh, all right. Oh, sorry. Be nice if there was a warning signal that went boop, 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 and you knew you were blurring. Because if you're not looking at the screen, it's often hard to determine. All right, so I am going to, on this one, I think put something, I am going to glue something behind there. So let's see what I have that I can use. I apologize for that. And it's, it just depends on what you're willing to use or maybe cut cut up. You know, you may not want to cut up that picture. Let's see, I have a couple that look the same. So, and then some of us have these, and it doesn't have to be a picture either. See, it could be, it could be text. It could be anything. It's just whatever floats your boat. Now we're going to get into that. I didn't pull any of that out. Now that kind of looks the same, doesn't it? It's kind of hard to. Uh... That's kind of cool. This is a little vellum picture. I have a whole, a whole tablet of stuff like this. Well, probably a couple of tablets of stuff like that. Oh, and I want to grab this out while I'm, while I'm rooting and digging. So this is also another good use for, okay, so say you rip something. Say you're ripping um, some ledger paper and you got a little tiny scrap that's got beautiful handwriting on it. That's, see, that's where you throw that kind of crap in a box because when you're doing stuff like this, it works. These stickers go with something else from Tim Holtz. You put the heart in the in the little charm. I think I have some of those charms. I know, shocker, right? There's another little piece of, I think that was a napkin I glued on a piece of, um, a piece, oh, there's a real mini guy. We might use him on a piece of um, freezer paper. Yeah, there's another one. They might come in handy. 
for a stamp. This isn't a real stamp. That's a that's something you get in the Tim Holtz stuff. Look, that word might those words might come in handy. Daddy's home taking out the little pooch. Whoop. Okay, so let's stop digging for a minute and see what I want to use. All right, so now I've got two of them, <clears throat> two of them that I did, right? I should have probably started, well, we can use the heat tool. This one's just a little vellum picture of a little town, like a little chalet. I don't know how well you can see it, little chalet. And I'm going to hopefully find my glue. Now, if there's something you need me to see, guys, please put it in caps because I'm looking at my phone, which is closer to me, which is good, but it's also small. And I'm trying this new lighting to see if this helps at all. I'm not sure that it does. I know I put glue on myself. All right, I'll let that dry a little bit. I didn't put any on the sides. That was silly, wasn't it? I should have, oops, it's starting to curl. Let's press down this way. Let's see what happens. Let me check chat here. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to take these off. Actually, I popped one yesterday. <clears throat> Did you ever get into a cleaning mode where you weren't planning on doing that, but it just turns out to be that way? And I cleaned out my back corner pretty well and reboxed some stuff. And I got a lot done. But it wasn't, I wasn't expecting to spend the day that way. All right. So now let's see what we have handy here. Of course, I've got my hot glue gun plugged in because I like to use that, especially doing little things like this. Uh, little bits of fabric, of course, come in handy. And a little bit of cheesecloth. Never fat, never hurts. We can just do this one very simply. Let's dump out a few little buttons. Oh, well, they're kind of bigger than what I was thinking I might need. And I think I want a little piece of fabric. See, the problem is uh, <clears throat> they're buried a lot of different stuff here. <clears throat> this is cute. Let's pull that out. See, I've got a little handmade basket here. And they don't have to make sense or anything. It's just fun. And it's just like using up some of this little, little jazz, right, that you've had laying around a while. Look how fortunate a button that's got thread in it. Woo! I'm going to hot glue these things down. Mm. 
anyway, I was saying I'm ready to take these nails off. My sister sells these nails. So she's always showing us new product. Oh, my gosh. I love French nails. I love the, the white tip French nails. But this company doesn't have a whole lot in that style. They've got some different ones. I've tried a couple. And they're all very nice. But they're not like if you go to the salon and get acrylic nails on. They're not like the traditional. Hey, there's Jasper. Good morning. Um, they're not like your traditional white tipped acrylic nails. Well, they just came out with a set. Mm -mm -mm. So she got them for me, but I don't always see her um, a lot. So probably not going to see her till this coming week. So I'm trying to keep these on until I see her because I want to switch out to the new set. Got to feed your cats. Okie doke. So I'm inking the edge of this little. word maybe just right there I'm just going to put it right there too much glue do 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 too much glue All right, now I have a journal I'm working on here. I'm filling up the pages with stuff. Let me just see. All right, let's let's do this one as well. Let's do a little piece of this dark plaid. Now, if you have any ideas of something you'd like to see on one of these little frames, just put it in chat, and if I don't see it, put it in a second time, okay? If I have if I have what you're suggesting, I will use it. I will do it. Oh, look what happened. My one my one label got knocked over on the other label. That's sad. That's sad. I'm going to put it right on top there. That's not going to stick. See? I'm going to add a little hot glue then. I'm not sure the white glue is going to hold that either. But look. We'll use that instead of throwing it away. I don't want to throw away anything that might be good. All right. So I'm thinking I want to put something dangling down here. And maybe for this one, see, I got the red. I got the red going. Let's see. Uh, I wonder how I wonder how weird that would look if I left that top part open. If I just glued the airmail that way. Oh, look, it's stuck in. It's stuck in. I wonder if I could pop that in. There's an idea. Where's those little skizzers? Let's try that again. Whoop, I got a little dog under my legs. A little poochie cooch. Okay, let's see. I'm bad at this. Eh. We're trying to slip that into the other side. It might not be open. 
I might have a piece of film in there. It looks like it doesn't, but where that other side sliding in there so easy. Now I cut it, it's going to be too short to glue it. Just barely going to make it. All right, let's glue it. I hear these strange noises. I don't know what the puppy's doing. It's like if you had children, when your kids were real quiet, you know, you know they're into or up to something they probably shouldn't be doing. And then I hear this crazy noise as she's chewing on a bone. The cool thing about making this things like this, or even your clusters, if you're doing um, ephemera like clusters, you get to use up all that cool little bits of stuff that you save in your stash. That will be cute, Ange. Yeah, after I get the nails on, for, and I wear different lengths, depends on, you know, the style, because when I buy them, they come in all different um, colors and styles. I just pick out what I like. And some of them are just normal, and some of them are wild and crazy. I kind of like the wild and crazy. Um... But after, I gotta say, after I put them on, they just feel normal. Put that one aside. <clears throat> okay, so I was thinking I want a little something to hang and dangle maybe off of this one. And I think I'm going to use the little circles that we treated earlier. Oh, he might look cute on there. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> So this gal by the name of um, Susie Hines, H-E-I-N-Z. What does she call herself? The Shabby Soul? Something like that? Excuse me while I take a sip. She is um, the Tim Holtz maker. So that ought to tell you something. And if you really like the grunge and shabby kind of look, she's your girl. Okay, Andrea. <clears throat> and she had a dangling from um, one of her journals, these reinforcement circles. Now, she might have used Tim's reinforcement circles. I don't remember if she shows you how to do this. But, you know, you can decorate them and then you just glue them to each other. You just stick them to, to themselves. Of course, you want to try to get it as lined as best lined up as you can, which isn't always easy. Oop. And then you just want to make a stack of them if you're going to use them the way I'm going to use them. And then I'm going to get a bulb pin, which I have. Oh, I just had my little jar here. Oh, husband came home and cooked something. I hate when he does that. I hate when he does that. Oh, here it is. And here I've got little pins and little um, clips. 
might use a little clip and there's a couple little pins. See, and then you just stack up however many you want. If you can pick them up. Now, I could glue this. I could glue one of these down, too. You know, it would be cute. But I'm going to use them this way for right now. And open up my pin. Instead of putting on a bead, which you could do that, I'm just going to put them... on my little pin. Toe corn removers. <laughs> and you're so funny. Oh, silly girl. You're a silly girl. Now I need something else up there, I think. That might not be too bad. And maybe we'll put a little string little bit of a string if I can find a little bit of a string so what I would like to do is maybe now I might not like this and I might end up taking this off I'm not going to put thread through this button which I normally always do I'm going to not my little thread that I found, or try to. It's not very long. Is Jackal in here? Hi, Jacqueline. How you feeling today, baby? Jacqueline's been a bit under the weather. All right, let me grab this with my. Ah. My um, tweezers are not real great. They're a little, they're a little wonky. See, so it's hard to grab stuff. So I'm going to put that there, grab my glue gun, put a spot of glue, and hopefully enough to attach that button. Ah, I got it on my nail. Oh, they're my strings. Okay. Strings I can manage. Now, do we want this little fellow on the other side? Yeah, I think he looks cute there. So we're going to trim him. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm going to ink him up a little bit. And I'm going to set them right there. A little bit of glue here, I hope. Gosh, it's this it's this dispenser. I got to get a different dispenser. I have them. I just haven't I haven't switched over. Oh, he's not sticking. Mm. 
Okay, so that's another one. All right, so now let's pull out some. Should have done this first. But I've got my um, heat tool. I just have to be careful wheeling. Ron, are you there? Yeah. Can you shut my, get the dog and shut my door? I'm afraid I'm going to roll over her. I can't, with streaming, I can't pay attention as well as I should. All right, let's see if I can get mine. Thank you. I've got some Timmy tissue paper. Now, of course, you can use napkins, too. But I didn't pull out. I have some napkins sitting here, but I didn't pull out a bunch. I love his tissue paper. Do, um, maybe a black and white, and then the one has some color. Um, and this might look cute too. I got these um, when we cleaned out my. Well, we didn't clean it out yet. When we went to my girlfriend Joyce's apartment, I'm pretty sure this is, came from her place. And you could use a plain napkin too if you don't have a decorated napkin. Um, you know, to just get that texture. I just saw a reel. This this girl, I'm like, why? Why is she doing this? Of course, I think she, what she did, she did to to make a point. She gets up on her bed and she pulls her sheet off of her bed. And some of the comments were, why use a dirty sheet? Well, I doubt her sheets were dirty. I think she was just making a point. But she took her sheet and took a great big um, tub, plastic tub, put the sheet in and took one of those gallon jugs of glue, threw that in there, just dumped the whole thing in there. And then she um, dumped in some paint and smooshed it all around to the way she got it, the way she liked it. And then she took, um, I think she took maybe a canvas, you know, like a blank canvas, painter's canvas, stretched canvas. I guess you'll call it. Dumped glue on that, smushed that all around, then put her her sheet on it, and then started to manipulate the sheet and twist it and bunch it till she got it to look the way she wanted, and then let that dry. Of course, it dries rock hard. And then um, she pulled it around the edges, stapled it down, trimmed off. And hung it on her wall. It was really cool. Okay. So I've got um, a piece of napkin. And I'm going to take some of... Oh, I should show you this too. All you do is just give these a push. And the little film comes out. And you can reuse that. See, the hard part I'm having is... See, these are family members. So it's like you hate to throw them out. But... I'm not sure that I want to use them either. So what I want to do is um, you could use Mod Podge. You could use, you know, whatever works for you. I have some golden matte medium here. And what I forgot to do was grab. Um, oh, there's some water. Okay. I need some water. I want to make sure I grab a brush I don't really care about, you know, that maybe been used a few times if you have a glue brush that's sitting in some water if you don't have a glue brush and you have an old brush that's worn out you could use a sponge you could use your finger okay but all I'm going to do is paint a coat of glue you can use Elmer's doesn't have to be any of this, you know, fancy jazz. You want to just try to get the edges as best you can. I 
and they just pick a spot and stick it down. And then I'm going to put that up on my keyboard. That'll start to dry. And then I can use my heat tool if I need to. So let me grab another. Now, this is Tim Holtz tissue paper, but if you have, so you've got a, you know, wrapped up gift in you. I really like the tissue paper. Use it. Save those little bits. I'm sure you could use um, probably stick glue too, right? You know, uh, glue stick. Now, I should have had some of these prepped ahead of time, but I didn't. Didn't do it. All right, on this one, I'm going to do something different with these. Two, I think I'm going to make two from on this paper on this um, this here tissue paper. Now you can get, and I don't have any of these, you can get some really cool, maybe you can make them yourself, I don't know little dried flowers like little mini flowers oh, i wonder if you could dry just the individual sections of a hydrangea oh, has anybody ever done that mm, i don't know all right i'm going to put my brush in that water So now you want this to, if you're doing this, you want these to dry really well. And I'll tell you one reason why is because they're so much easier to get these off of the paper, um, you know, if they're dry. If I can find what I want. I always, this always goes missing for me. The little sanding. Oh, I might have one up there. Now I just slap these down, but you can be more selective, you know, of your image and uh, what you're trying to capture. I'm going to hit these with my heat tool. Hit it with your heat tool. Ooh, that feels good to me. Don't burn your little fingers. It's just tissue paper and a little bit of glue. This is, you can get this on the internet or probably at, you know, your local craft store if they carry Tim Holtz projects. This is Tim Holtz tissue paper. And once this is really dry, you can cut it off too. You can tear it off. If you tear it, you take the risk of some of it going into your frame, which really is, to me, isn't a bad thing. But I, I really, truthfully, I've never tried that. Now, 
I probably should have done these on the ones that have the film still in it, but I didn't. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with it anyway. But I'm not going to on these. I'm not going to take out the center. I'm going to leave my tissue paper in there. These two I wanted to match because I'm going to make a little book. A little book of sorts. You know how we're always making little journals for little tuck-ins? Well, you can make a little tuck-in with these as well. Okay, so there's those two. Now, of course, I'm going to save these little bits. Because I can use that for another frame or another cluster or just a little. Yeah, I do have one on napkin, Jasper, right here. But I wanted to use some of the tissue paper, too. All right, so now I just have to decide which one I want to be my front cover. And I'm going to have that be my front cover. Now, see, I can do this side as well. But see, I think I want to put something on there to be the inside cover. So this might be where, say you've got some painty papers or say you've got um, something you stamped that you think is really cute or maybe you've got an old bit of cool stuff. So this is one of my envelope journal storage Things. Oh, that's cute. A lot of stamps. See, this might be cute. Let's just see. Let me get one of these. That might be cool because it says New York. <sighs> I'm not overly attached to New York, but. So I'm just tracing this. I apologize for the glue that's stuck to my nail. If I go to pull my glue off, I might pull the whole nail off. <laughs> Now, you could also trim that out, flip it over, and just have it covered with, you know, the napkin or tissue paper, whatever, you know, you've decided to use. Uh, if you're doing a garden journal, you may want to do flowers or leaves or some bugs. You might want to just do some bugs. Now, what I want to make sure is this is going the right way. So I'm going to use this as my front cover. So I want to make sure this goes this way. I think I'm going to ink that after. Well, it's pretty sturdy. Maybe I'll ink it now. Lori, where do you get the rice paper you're using right now? Um... I don't know if you type that after I said, Ange. It's just, um, I get it online. Um, a couple of the ones, I have a couple different ones. But, you know, certainly Amazon carries, carries it. Um, Simon Hurley, I'm sure. Ranger, they, they all carry it. Or say like, um, I think some of it I really got on clearance at Michael's. Or maybe when AC Moore was going out of business. You know, yeah, you could definitely use that for a coupon holder for sure. I use mine for a lot of things, but not coupons because I don't really shop. I don't really shop. My husband does most of that because, you know, I'm, I'm the resident slug. 
That's just the truth. I don't mind being the slug. I really am really quite good at it, actually. Quite good at it. Quite, quite good. I'm going to add a little glue there. I don't know if I need to. I have one of these already made up. But, of course, I put it aside. And now I don't know where it is. If my glue is it's not really cold here. Ah that glue just doesn't seem to be working for me today, does it? Where's my other let me get mine. They say that the um I'm pretty sure this is the art glitter glue. But see I've been using this and it's not been real cold. They say that it's um, temperature sensitive, which is like crazy to me, but whatever. So I'm going to add a little, oops, wrong one, a little matte medium here. See if I can get this to stick. That's just not wanting to stick. Maybe I'll maybe I'll clamp it. Let's see how if it just holds it for a few seconds. Give it give it a chance to dry. So let me just clip that, see if that helps. It just could be, you know, one of those crazy things. All right, so then this is going to be my back cover. And these sets, you know, you can have this make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. It's just a little decorative thing for in a, um, that's cute too, isn't it? Let's add insult to injury. Let's see if we can get this side to stick. The glitter glue is water-based and freezes in cold temperatures. Oh, is that why? Hmm. I just assumed most glues were based, but I guess that is not true. So then I guess it waters down and it loses its potency. Hmm, thanks, Peggy. I think this might be some cool bits I got from Kathy Cal. She sent me a bunch of stuff. Sent me a bunch of stuff, a bunch of goodies. All right, let's try my glue stick on this one. I'm going to really load it up because I don't have much success with glue stick either. And I've said before, I think it's because I don't put enough on. I tend to be light-handed. When I was learning how to do ceramics and was going for my certification many, many moons ago, I was terrible at um, glazing because I just couldn't. I was so light-handed with the product i couldn't get enough glaze on it to make it look as it should 
Now this is a little off kilter. Let's give that a push. Let's give it a push. I'm going to give it a push. Now I'm hoping I can find my, there it is, some of my cloth tape. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Now you could use ribbon. I'm sure you could use paper. Just let that dry a little bit more. Look, this is just absolutely not sticking. That's crazy to me. Oh, it's finally sticking down there. I have another little glue thing, but I maybe I didn't bring it out. I thought I did. I thought I did. I thought I did. Maybe I can scoot a little bit of this underneath there. Glitter glue does not use stabilizer to keep it from freezing. Barely glue does. Barely glue does and it won't freeze. Yeah, this is just, um, it's not rice paper, Ange, that I use. It's just tissue paper. In fact, I think he called, I think Tim Holt calls it collage paper. Collage paper. This one's called floral. It's from his ideology um, line. Okay, so now I'm thinking maybe I want to glue a little something else on here. Like we did that little fella. Let's see. Oh, a Lipton tea bag. That would be cute. I don't think I want a bug. I was thinking maybe a little person might might look cute. But maybe not. Maybe not. This was something else I bought from Ran uh, from Ranger. They have these real cheap, and then you get all these sheets of of ephemera. Uh, at least that used to be. They used to be like a dollar or a dollar fifty. I wonder how she'd be. Maybe she. I wonder if she'd be too big. Let's see. Let's trim her out. See, does don't don't um, forget. You know, when you have trash, that's cute. I mean, look how cute that butterfly is. All right. There might be something cute in there. You can look and use. This makes me think of Queen for a day. Now I'm really, really uh, aging myself.
I'm having a hard time seeing where those little points of the crown to end. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hi, Judy. How are you? I knew there's a couple of us in here that would remember Queen for a day, but I didn't want to point anybody out because I appreciate that you're you're here with me, and I don't want to point anyone out. <laughs> now, if I put her there, she's going to cover up my New York. But I do kind of like her. I wonder how she would look on the front. She would look cute on the front. Maybe I'll put her on the front. That was very <laughs> thank you, Andrea. I'm glad you I'm glad you recognized how disciplined it was. Very difficult. It was very difficult. Okay, so this I got a little past, a little past my edge. All right, so now this book is not going to have any pages. This is merely just to be a little cute thing to include in uh, a pocket, put in a pocket in a journal. That is my intent. So they will be like this. So I'm going to continue to decorate. Now I want to put, um, I have to put little, um, strips little little bands to hold these two together right so let's put her front and center and i'm done fussing with that glue so i'm just going to add a little hot glue to her bottom oh geez now my hot glue's my hot glue's just not coming out i gotta put another stick in there So let's put her down. She looks like a Doris to me. Now let's get a glue stick and I'm going to use Peggy's tip, which someone didn't know this. Of course, I don't know if I have enough even glue in there to get enough out. Put a little bit of glue. I might have to push it. It's okay. It's okay. Little stinker's not cooperating. Well, you need to realize before your glue gets too short, but if you put a little bit of glue here and then put it in your gun, it glues to the other stick and then it just continues. Which is genius. That's a Peggy Fitzmaurice tip. You can't go wrong with those. Oh, just can't go wrong. Okay. All right, another sip. Now, what else? Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece of this cloth tape, linen tape. I'm sure you could use washi tape. You want to make, you can make it as big or as narrow as you like. I think I might do thinner. This one's nice because it's got lines there that I can kind of use to uh, cut. Okay, so that's the front. This is going to be my back. And now the fun part of getting the tape off of the backing. Mm 
this might be a little too long, but I'm going to go with it. Now, the more you use, the more secure it's going to be, right? So I might go with four. I should have done this before I glued her on. I'm just saying. Okay, Jasper. I should have thought ahead better on that one. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, I'm going to burnish that down. And then I'm going to put one more in the center. I hope I know. Oh, see, I didn't, I didn't leave enough of a gap. <sighs> this is what not to do. Got to leave a little bit of a gap. Probably be better if I did it this way. And again, brought, brought to you by Bricolage with Paint Girly. What not to do in your project. And let's grab another little strip. Now, if you have some ribbon roses or anything you like, you can add to decorate. Come on, Doris, lean forward for me. There you go. There you go. Just keep in mind if you want to do if you do want to slide this into a pocket, it's got to be able to fit. So you might have to gusset your pocket. You know, just saying you might have to gusset. Now, let's see what else do we have here. If I can find a bit of, a bit more of my yummy, yummy cheesecloth. Put a little bit of that, I think, over here on our little Doris. And... Where did I put those? Maybe a little gem, a little jewel. Oh, you know what else I just said? Oh, where did I put them? Where did I put them? Where did I put them? We could give Doris a little necklace. I had a little string of pearls. Oh, they might be too big. I do have smaller ones. Oh, man. I don't I have no idea. I have little tiny, tiny ones somewhere. I have no idea where they are. Wouldn't that be cute, that little string of pearls? It might kick in, but it, prob it probably will not kick in. All right. So let's just go with that <laughs> yeah I guess we all could have used the book like that well they say it's never too late I think I think, I think, 
I think I have a little ribbon rose right here. This is probably too big. So I'm trying to keep in mind that if I want to slip it in a pocket, I don't want it to be too um, bulky, you know? And a ribbon rose is squish. It will squish. I'm just trying to... Grab my ribbon rose without making a huge. Oh, that's not the best color, is it? Let's see, I've got a dark one here. I think I might like that little burgundy one better. Choices, choices, choices. We've got lots of choices. Oh, that's a party hat. Look, I could have put a party hat on her. Let's not get carried away. Oh, Doris, you're looking spiffy. <laughs> Look. Look at her. Oh, look. I've got a little band-aid. All right. Let's gussy up the inside here a little bit. Let's see. I need a little something else here. New York, New York. It's a hell of a town. Jeez, Ange. You got you to gotta, you gotta work on that, Ange. It's not good to nap right after you eat. So you got to build up your resistance. Got to try to stay awake a little bit. Right? Sit up in a chair. Move your arms. Who did I miss? There's Jean. Hi, Jean. Is it still morning? I can't see the clock. No, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm assuming you're... Not halfway around the world, but I don't really know, do I, Jean? We'll put that little flower there. That's flat, nice and flat. Okay. You're going to leave her in the kitchen? Or just not in here so I don't... She should be all right. You see now I did it where I glued it and it's got a little bit of sticking out the top. And that's, I mean, that's okay. But see, if I had realized, I would have inked the back of that. Just saying. I don't always pay attention. Of course, we can add more or less. I don't think we really need anything on the back. So we're going to add that to the pile of done now let me pull out my napkin now this has been drying it should be pretty dry so let's get out my little sander again sand that off now you could also use your craft paper right you could use some um, scrapbook paper Say you're doing a book with Stamperia paper, you're doing a journal, and you've got a page, and you want to use a little frame like this. And the paper is not easily sanded off because it's heavyweight. You know, your scrapbook paper is heavier. Certainly, if it's a cardstock weight, it's heavier. So the sand is just not gonna, it's just not gonna work for you, really, I don't think. I could be wrong, but now I might sand this a little bit more. So if you're using a heavier paper, my recommendation is, is you get yourself a little cutter board. 
you probably have one, something you're not going to destroy your desk. You get, you know, your exacto knife or whatever, or a small pair of scissors, and you just make your crisscross and cut that. And this can bend in, and you can bend it around and glue it, and you have a real nice inside frame. But because it sands off so nice, and this is napkin, I'm just going to sand this. And maybe you don't care about it being <clears throat> real nice and um, even. Maybe you've got different issues than I have. So, you know. I don't know if he coined the phrase, but Tim Holtz always says, you do you. It's your book, your journal, your mixed media page, whatever you might be using it for. Card. Someone suggested a card. I think that was our dear Ange, who's now probably napping. And just probably tired from doing all that cooking. She may have been up at the crack of dawn, huh? Okay, welcome back. Jasper, I don't think about you having daughters that are not in the house anymore. I, When I think of you, I don't know why. Maybe because you got a cool, fun little name. I think of you as a young woman who would have young children. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so here's my frame. And I'm going to ink. And sometimes some of your tissue, especially napkin, will come off, you know, if you don't glue down your edges really well. Let's see what else we can do here. Now, see this was the napkin. Not would be one I don't think I would pick out, but I got it from my girlfriend's house. So, but then when I just took a chunk of it, look how cool it looks on the frame. Now we also have this other one here. This is a little, this is um, more stable than a napkin. This is a tissue paper, or he calls it collage paper. The more cuts you make, the easier it should be if you want to glue it down. Personally, I don't know why you'd want to do that. But, you know, different strokes, see, it makes it really a lot easier to pull that in and glue it. But there again, you know, for me, the sanding works really well. this maybe in one of my journals. I'm thinking about my porch journal. I might find a page where this will work. I'm liking that black and white. And I'm going to save this piece because I have, an, I have another idea. I have another idea. Your oldest is 39. My oldest is 39, but I got a late start. So I, I am going to assume you're a lot younger than I am. That's funny. It's funny. And Jacqueline and I, we get along so well. Okay, Gail, thanks for coming in. Say hi to your dad. 
Have a good week, Gail. All right, so it is a little fiddly to sand in that little open hole, but you can, you can do it. Okay. And I'm gonna ink this one too. Now, I could have gotten the black out maybe and inked it in black, but you, sometimes I'm a little disappointed with the black. Of course, you could double ink. I wonder if I have... I have a certain uh, black um, ink pad that I like to use as an anchor because it's one of the cheaper ones. Hey, Roseanne, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, and instead of it being like that fabric linen type, it's a sponge and it inks really well. But I don't know that I have that sitting right here. I don't. I really, really don't. See if I have. I wonder how this would work. Uh, pumice stone's not going to do it for me. Fresh corduroy. I used to have a black soot. I saw it in the small. Maybe, maybe I don't. Let's just see. This isn't the sponge one. okay just giving it a little just framing it a little bit gosh i hope most of you are not as anal as i am it's not always not always fun yeah this probably wasn't a good idea to do the inside getting a little messier than I wanted it to be. All right, so now we've got those napkin, and then this is another tissue paper. This we can put back because I'm finished with that. And okay, now we get to decorate. This is always my favorite part. I think I want to use one of these flowers because they're so pretty, or so, so pretty. That's more pink. This is more yellow. I think I'm going to use one of these because it's got more of a yellowy background. See? See how anal? Ooh. Roseanne is a busy grandma. <gasps> oh, I'm envious. I'm envious of that, Roseanne. How lovely for you. Oh, my. But I'm sure it's tiring at times. All right, I'm looking for a skewer, something more narrow and a paintbrush so I'm going to wind this um, is Kathy here hey there she is hi Kathy okay so I'm going to wind this little um, wire can you see you could cut it off. You could have it straight, but I like to I like to curl them. And um, now you know this is not going to be flat, so this might be something you would consider, say, for the cover of a journal. You might consider. Oh, might. Now I think on this one, let's just see. We've got this fine looking couple. I'm 
or do I want them on that? No, I think I want them on this. See, now this is the hard part for me is um, trimming these out. I don't, I don't do it so well. I don't want to cut off the tops of their heads either. Off with their head. Okay, let's. I'm going to give myself a mark and try to remember to cut inside my line. See, I have a hard time cutting these things up and using them. But if I don't, then they just sit in the box. And they don't get used. So what's the sense of that? Now, I'm sure there's a lot of other things you can do with these slide projector frames. But nobody has, nobody has said anything else. So we're just going with what's in my head right now, which, quite frankly, isn't a whole lot. <laughs> Not a whole lot indeed. All right. Um, now that's got a slicker. I'm going to try this again. Oh, you are Roseanne. Thank you. They even look better in a book, in a journal. All right, so. Are your five grants all from one one child or is I shouldn't ask this that's being too nosy. That's a lot for one mama to have five babies. I was watching a reel where this woman first she thinks she has one baby. She goes in, she's out in the car and she comes home. She goes in, she gets the one baby, takes it in the house, and lays it on the floor. Goes out to the car. Think she's going to get packages or something. She goes around to the other side of the car, pulls out another baby, takes it in, <laughs> lays it on the floor, goes back out to the car. She got, of course, she's got a van. Goes to the second seat behind the passenger side, I think it is. Puts a backpack or something on her back. You have a son and a daughter. How nice. Me too. But I only got two grands. Maybe one day my son will have a baby. I don't know. We better get moving. He's getting old. Anyway, she goes and gets a third baby out of her van. Takes it in. Puts it on the floor. Puts down her bag. Goes back out to the car. She's the mother of quads. Oh my gosh. One by one, she gently takes each one out of the car. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, my daughter, um, oldest, is, is about to turn nine. All right, so we've got this cute little flower that I'm going to glue there. And I'm going to, of course, put some, some of this nice jazz, my little jazzy... Uh, I never can remember of it. It's um, you did, Peggy. That was good. Oh, boy, that was good. Bye, Flo. You saw that video, Ange? Wasn't it cute? Ange, I thought you were taking a nap. Okay, so let me find a piece of fabric, something that I think is going to look nice with that napkin. Eh, a little denim, eh, it might be a little too. Let's take a little piece of this. It's kind of the same coloring, but 
we'll just add to our let's get those little fringy fringies in there all right can't really see the ladies cool little hat so let's twist that all right let's put this glue down and a smidge of our Try not to get your fingers in that hot glue. That's why the tip of mine is always messy. But that's all right. I'm going to put this on. Oh, she says she's napping but can't fall asleep. What if we What if I make a little loop at the bottom of this one? Hey, why not? Hey, why not? Then I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink this too. No, Lori, no nap because you got on to me. Just <laughs> I'm just looking out for your health, Ange. It's better for you not to nap after you just have had a big meal. All right. All right, so I'm going to put this here. Now, I've said this before, and I find it true about myself, and maybe some of you all do as well, that once you get doing stuff like this, and you get all your stuff out, and you start messing around, you get different ideas. Gosh, I hate when I get stuff crooked. That's a little crooked. Um, you get all your stuff out and you just start getting more ideas. And then you might see something you forget you had. You add a little bit of this. You add a little bit of that. And I have a girlfriend, Jean, who would say, yeah, but I'm just not good at putting stuff together. But once you start fiddling, and I think most of us are better than what we think. Some of us, of course, are better or we like their stuff. I'm thinking of one lady in particular who's here. She just has a knack of putting um, things together that look so fabulous. I'm thinking a little piece of lace there because, see, now I've got myself where that's a little... A little crooked, but I need a little tiny, little teeny tiny lace. I don't have a little teeny tiny, but I've got something smaller. This might be too big. Let's see. It doesn't have to be a big piece. How did the ceiling, how did the ceiling turn? How did the ceiling come out? Oh, the painting? They start tomorrow. Is that what you're talking about, Kel? This is a little bigger than what I want, but I'm going to use it. Because that's what's here. And that's what I have available. They just came the other day to sign the contract. Okay, let's pop that back in its spot.
Oh, Ann, stop. You do a lot of nice stuff. No, I was talking about Kathy Cow because she is really good at putting stuff together. If you haven't watched some of her videos or her lives, you should check them out because she's got the knack. In my humble opinion, she's got the knack. Um, they're just going to do, you know, I don't even know, Kel. I think just a cream color, like for the ceiling. All right, so now I got that little loop de dupe. I'm going to hang something from there. I'm going to use my other bulb pin or coilless pin. And I'm going to grab this time a bead. It's true, though, Cass. It's very true. All right. So, I'm just going to put one little bead on there. Sometimes it's hard to get them to, um, I know, right? Right, Jasper? Yeah. Okay. So, these pins are not the, <laughs> these pins are not the sharpest tack in the, let's see if I can get it in there. Uh, I might have to pop a hole first. Let's see. Let's see. It's more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, sorry. Can you see that okay? So there's that one. Then we did the book. Then we did this one. That's just got the dangles with the little reinforcement circles. This one's kind of more of a plain, plain Jane. This one's just doesn't have a whole lot going on, but sometimes maybe that's what you need in your journal. All right, so I've got one left to finish up, and then I'm going to go get some lunch, and I'm going to watch a ball game. I love baseball season. Woo! Okay, so this one I'm going to put in my journal. So let's see. Let me find a page. I'm going to put it in my porch journal. This is the one I put the uh, black and white collage paper on. So let me see if I can spot a page that I think I would like to have it on. I have a whole lot going on in this channel. These are ideas for my journal. This is a pocket from a bag in my journal. Okay, Cal, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I thought it might be fun because I have that tissue paper and then I've got this extra left over incorporating that as part of my, you know, gluing this one down and decorating it. Mm. So let's try. Let's see what we end up with. So I'm going to tear this bit. And of course, that's got that straight edge from where I sanded off the uh, inner bits of that frame. Get rid of that top edge. So I think I'm going to glue that down. And take another little piece of it. 
-hmm. Maybe overlap it like that. I've got a lot of crazy little bits. I think I want to ink those edges of my tissue paper because I inked this. So let me get out my little ink board. That's I, this is what I like to use when I have flimsy paper that I'm wanting to ink on. Did I put it away? Oh gosh, I'm just so messy. Hmm. <laughs> well, there's still some on my sponge, I guess. But what the heck did I do with it? I know I capped it up. I don't know where I put it. I have two. I have two of them, but I don't see my other one. Is it really warm, Jasper, where you are, or is your weather still nice where I, I mean, I can't take the heat. Well, I can't do, with my back, I can't do any kind of, who am I kidding? Even if my back was good, gardening would not be for me. I don't like getting dirt up in my nails. I don't like wearing gloves. I'll check to see if there are any more baby pictures <laughs> while I'm having my lunch. Okay, so that just gives it a little, gives it a little more color. All right, so now I'm going to get my brush and my golden matte medium that I have in this little container instead of dipping into the big jug. Especially when the big jug gets uh, starts getting lower and lower, you got to put your fist all the way down in there. I don't think it's good to keep putting a foreign object in your glue storage. I don't know. That's just that's just me. Might be an acrylic paint thing. This is probably not a good idea, Lori. Okay, let's do this. I think I wanted that over that way a little bit more. It is what it is. Look, I just remembered. I probably should have that as I'm getting close to the edge. use my inside voice because I think Angie's napping. Shh, don't tell her I know. My husband cooked some little new potatoes last night and then he cooked them till they were tender and then he mashed them like just squished them with a glass or something. And then put some seasonings on them. And he was a little heavy handed. So they were tasted really salty. And um, then he cooked them some more to get them crispy. But they didn't get really crispy. I think they were in like a 400 degree oven. They could have been a little more crispy. But they were good. He said he wouldn't make them again. But I thought they were pretty good. It's a beautiful 82 outside, and I'm going to work on my tan. Nice. Next to the pool. Nice. All right, I'm going to use my heat tool. This is a pretty thin 
like a gift bag can see like a card shop, I think. Soon it'll be too hot. Yeah. Have anything in my pocket, girls? Nothing in my pocket. That's nice. I'm just wondering if I pop a couple more of these out. You know, these are the. Some of them are a little harder to get out than others. See, this one's busted. This one busted. That's kind of cool, though, isn't it? Wonder how it would look if I glued a couple of these down. Too. I kind of like that that one busted. These are old kids. These are old, baby, old. Once it reaches a hundred, you stay in. Mm, yeah. I don't know if I like this idea or not. Let's let's crunch this one too. I'm having a hard time with my oh, it's rose out in that area too, where it's nice and nice and hot. I enjoy the heat, but I have to be by water, um, you know, by a pool where I can get in and get cooled off. Uh, I can't just do the heat. I never could, even as a kid. I would just get ooh, sick and real flushed. Never tolerated it well. I wonder if these are going to glue down easy. Probably not. The humidity really kills me. Yeah, I don't like the humidity. All right, I'm thinking about maybe not putting the film down. What do you think? Opinions, please. I guess I could put a little... I could put a little, um, yeah, the East Coast humidities, that can be tough. I could put a little cheesecloth down underneath, maybe. That looks a little better, and I could get the edge of my tree in. I wonder how bad the hot glue would melt that film. <laughs> I don't know if I could tie a bow with this. Not a hot weather gal, Peggy. 
I mostly soak in the pool. My husband, he's like more like a lizard, you know, he'll get out and read his book, take a little nap while I am while I am bobbing in the pool. You're not going to believe it, but my aunt, it's a picture of my aunt. She's got a red jacket on, and that's all I can see is that red jacket. Oh, I want this down there a little bit. Offset that. I think that might be okay. I might need a button or something. I need something else on that frame. If anybody has an idea, I shall take it. Where's some of those, um, where did I put the, uh, I've got some of these things in black. Hmm. There's some verbiage. Maybe some verbiage might be good. Okay, let's get this down. Okay, I like my little, like my little uh, label on there. Got part of the tree, and then I've got some words here. Let's see, unforgettable. That's what you are, unforgettable. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to ink these if I can find my blender. <clears throat> Gosh, I haven't even looked at the time. I think I want something shorter than celebrate, celebrate. How about so very grateful? I'm going to do that because I'm very grateful that my niece had her baby. Everything's good. She had a couple miscarriages, so we're just so thrilled.
Now what? I still feel like I need something up there, but I just nothing's coming to me. Um, of what I could maybe use. I've got these sitting here. That might be nice. A little too, little, little too white. Cut off those little runners. Yeah, we had a, a big above ground pool where we lived in Pennsylvania. Um, and I really hated to give that up. But we moved into this development that ha they have two pools here. So it worked out good for me. Except we can't take the, can't take the dogs. Well, we only have one now, but we didn't have any. We had we had three. All right, I'm just gonna glue this down. Oh, look, it's partially glued down. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. That glue came up through the um, cheesecloth. Sneak a little. Let's sneak a little bit down in here. I was thinking about getting um, the Sharpie pen and doing some jazzy, jazzy stuff here. So my sister does a lot with her. Oh, that's nice, Jasper. Aw. May 5th. That's my, my youngest sister's wedding anniversary. My younger sister has three uh, grandchildren, and they're, oh gosh, what are they now? Three, two, and a little over one. And her daughter works part-time. Her son-in-law works full-time, and he's, it just, it's, they just have a lot going on, especially when the kids are sick, you know? And my sister helps out quite a bit. I probably, um, of course, she loves it, but we're all we're getting old. My sisters and I, we're getting. I mean, I'm the oldest. I'm really old, but my grandchildren are really self-sufficient now. I mean, it's not like you know changing diapers and all that jazz. Everybody's potty trained. Still don't know what I do with my ink pad. I'm running out of ink. I'm running out of ink. Maybe I'll put just a few marks. This is probably this might this might not be a good idea. But I'm doing a lot of these crazy little squibbly things on my postcards, and I just kind of like it. Could write something there too but i don't know what i would write i think i still need to ink around that edge a little bit but we're going to say that that's done so there's at least an idea for you to put an actual decorated slide projector frame in a journal and i did this on the pocket which you know kind of stabilizes this is a really flimsy bag so i think that'll be fine and then we have the other ones we did today. So we've got this little guy where we did the loop on the bottom and the pin with the bead. 
Oh my gosh, it's been that long. Yes, that will be such a great trip. This one's kind of a plain Jane. It's all right. And then we've got this one here where I decorated the um, little reinforcement circles. And put them in the little coil list. Of course, it's not cooperating. Now, I could glue that you know there if i wanted it to stay put so when i use that in journal i just may well do that <clears throat> and then this kind of a little journal i'm sure you could add pages in there too if you really wanted to go to the next step but just a couple ideas for you all right so that's it for me. I'm going to go grab my lunch and I'm going to get in my comfy chair, figure out some kind of a project. Maybe I'll draw or color a little bit today. I'm not quite sure. And I'm going to watch me the bowl game. Thanks, Kimberly. Gosh, thanks for coming in, everyone. Oh, I saw Jason, but it's Jackson. Excuse me, Jasper. I said it wrong. So enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. And uh, have a good week. And I'll be back, Lord willing, on Thursday. And then we'll see what else we can get into. I've got ideas. It's just, just remembering what they are, right? <laughs> All right, ladies. Have a good one. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.